four causes of water coming out of the exhaust. 1. Condensation Normal cause After your engine has just performed the internal combustion process there is a carbon dioxide and water mixture that forms as a result. 2. Catalytic Converter Normal cause when the exhaust system emits toxic carbon gases, the catalytic converter is responsible for reducing the size of these gases before they come out from the tailpipe. This allows the vehicle to be more environmentally friendly while reducing the risk of harming other people in the process. However, as the catalytic converter works to reduce these toxic emissions, there is a small amount of water vapor that forms as a result. This water vapor will form little droplets that will come out from the tailpipe. 3. Engine Heat Normal Cause If you live in an environment with cold temperatures, you can not expect to see water coming from your exhaust. The components of an engine normally need a little bit of time to let the oil circulate through them in order to cool them down. In the meantime, the moving components of the engine are going to generate a lot of heat within the first couple of minutes after startup. The exhaust system is also going to be unusually hot too, because of this water vapor is produced as the heat merges with the cold air. Then you'll see small water droplets falling from the tailpipe along with a bit of what appears to be white smoke. Just wait a few minutes with the engine running and they should all clear up. 4. Faulty Piston Abnormal Cause It can be serious when a bad piston is causing water to come from your tailpipe. You know if the pistons or its rings are the cause because you will also see smoke come out of the tailpipe in addition to the water. If it is really bad, then a burning smell will fill the interior of the cabin. Either that or it might be a sweet aroma that would indicate an even bigger problem. So, if you experience any strange smells along with smoke and water coming from your tailpipe, then don't drive your vehicle. Have it towed to an auto repair shop and have them confirm it's your pistons and or piston rings and replace if necessary.